there's our, there's our major technology roadblock is how do we serve each one of our students and satisfy each one of their unique needs so that each one of them has the opportunity to be successful or unlock that potential that they have within. So that someone had an internet connection, that could be true, but was it at a connection at a level where they could engage in the video conferencing, where they could engage in some of the uh, learning that was happening, some of the software that needed to be run for them to be successful. That was a kid that I was growing up, giving that content that I know how to do and I'm going to be successful. Now my issue is, is I don't have access to the content anymore. My family, we can't afford the high speed internet. We got four of us at home all trying to use the internet at the same time. So these videos you're trying to get me to watch, to learn, I can't learn from because they're always buffering or there's always some, some issue or the Chromebook that you gave me is too old and so now the Chromebook's not working. So now I have to take, take a step back and I have to wait two days to get a new Chromebook to be able to, to utilize these tools that are there that actually do work for me. You know, the end goal is to ensure that all students have reliable access to the internet. Um, and it takes a collaborative partnership between, um, you know, different entities such as the foundation, uh, internet providers, uh, and different uh, community groups 